Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is XRP I'm in South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just inform you that I am not financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is only for the educational purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, before wasting any time, the Federal Reserve uh, names 57 organizations certified ready for the Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Ripple Partner Volante uh, 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 completed the FedNow test. They completed the FedNow test. Now, the FedNow is going to make Ripple's work easier. FedNow is going to provide the level of, of play field, of play field. So, XRP is amongst the tokens that are going to be used for the cross-border payment in the first now. This is confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. This is confirmed by the first now that 57 organizations certified, certified, ready for the first now. So now the XRP ledger analytical data platform reported a surge in various metrics related to the XRP ledger. NFT market, a 73% NFT volume jumped on the XRP ledger last week. 57% price uh, 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 surge. So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to witness a massive price uh, 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 skyrocket. The, for the XRP and then the XRP ledger NFT market create frenzy volume jump to 73 percent with 57 price surge percent price surge we are going to witness something let the Fed now go live and economies the highlight use case uh, uh, for the CB bridge CBDC bridge for the wholesale CBDC. So in a report, the future CBDCs Ripple highlight that the real-time value transfer between the various CBDC can be seamless and cost-effective using the natural bridge asset XRP. Ladies and gentlemen, XRP is going to be used around the world. The companies Organizations are getting ready. 57 organizations now are completed uh, uh, the test for the Fed now. And Ripple's partner Volanto is amongst that, that organization. Now the Fed now says 57 firms test uh, to use the Fed now instant payment after late July launch. 57 organizations, 57 firms confirmed to be participate in the fed now this is very big ladies and gentlemen and volante the part, ripple partner is amongst those organizations now the federal reserve named organization certified certified as ready for the fed now series now 57 early adopters organization including financial institutions and the service providers have completed the formal testing and certifi certification in advance of the FedNow service launch for late July. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to witness something very big. We are going to witness the generational wealth when the XRP starts to sky record. So now, ladies and gentlemen, please listen to this video of Craig Devet where they discuss the range of topics including CBDC, FedNow and more. The FedNow will make Ripple's job easy. The FedNow will provide the level of play field. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a listen to this video. So, Right. And it could be just an option, right? Like Fedwire is an option. You don't have to use Fedwire. You can use ACH, which I believe is the private sector, right? That, mm -hmm. that does ACH. So it's not, not in the end all be all. Now, um, 
with with all that being said, though, uh, I, I believe the Fed actually has has announced the Fed Now platform, right? That, that's that's live now, so we do have real time payments as we speak, or is it, I think it's coming up soon or something. Is that make Ripple's work easier to do? If, uh, you know, the last mile type of situation, having the upgraded infrastructure going from from one corridor to the next, does that make everything easier and smoother? Yeah, so starting with what Fed, FedNow is, I like FedNow because it starts to offer a level playing field. Um, historically, commercial banks like JP Morgan, who have accounts everywhere and a critical mass of accounts, have been able to do things just on their internal ledger that other banks can't, namely instant transfers, because that's just ones and zeros on their own database. FedNow is cool because anybody who has an account at the Federal Reserve, whether you're a credit union or a financial institution, you have access to doing these instantaneous payments. And what that means is now they can offer better experiences to their customers, whether it's through, uh, you know, your uh, banking app or something else to do instant payments, including to, to merchants. That's very cool. That's actually good for business in the United States. Um, now, like in terms of where that goes for, for a company like Ripple, Ripple really benefits from more efficient domestic payment systems. I think one thing that we learned very early on is that domestic payment systems, while they are not perfect, like buying a cup of coffee today with a credit card with Visa, not that bad, right? Like the actual rails themselves aren't that bad. Where you run into a little bit of trouble is the actual mechanics around the dollar itself and the infinite, like infinity printing press that goes up. But putting that aside, like domestic payments are actually decent today. Um, FedNow is going to make that a little better. There's going to be other innovations as well. The real problem in payments, like the, the, the one that, that, that hurts the worst is how you string together international payments. Because for domestic payment, usually you have a central bank and that central bank is able to do things as fast as they want to because everything reconciles to their ledger. On a cross-border basis, you don't have a supranational bank. There's no bank of banks, right? Unless you're talking about Citigroup. And so getting rid of those correspondent banks and just connecting to hyper-efficient domestic systems, that's a future where you could have instantaneous cross-border payment from, call it US to Japan for fractions of a penny. And, you know, that's, that's not going to use a, a, a currency to do that, a government-denominated currency. That's going to use a, a crypto asset and XRP is really well suited for that. 